Hey, everybody. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're loaded up. You guys have never seen this. This is our super old and awesome 30-foot RV. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be trailering our bikes up to Colorado and doing some rides in Colorado. We're gonna be up in the Rocky Mountains. There's several rides on the way. Um, in Arizona, we're taking the I-17 North. On those big, long, straight highway roads, we're gonna be taking the RV and parking, and then we're gonna jump out, unload the motorcycles, jump on the road, and do some riding. This will be the first set of videos where we have both of our kids riding with us. This one and this one. So it should be a good time. We just had our first night on our trip. Mm -hmm. uh, we stopped in Northern Arizona by Stoneman Lake to visit some friends. Now this was all off-road riding, so we actually didn't ride our motorcycles. But what, what did we do? I rode a dirt bike that was much too tall for me. So I had to have help getting on and I couldn't stop it. So I dropped it to stop, <laughs> but it was still fun. Me and Burton went on the... The UTV? Yeah. We rode some bicycles did a bunch of stuff and then the big thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick where we're sleeping tonight with rv hookups and pick shower a, oh <laughs> uh, i want to shower we're gonna pick a <laughs> ride because we're gonna unload the motorcycles and do a ride so True that. all right let's go so we were driving along minding our own business and all of a sudden the rv was vibrating then we go check and one of the tires had popped. So we drove very slowly on a back road. We got off the freeway and um, called like five different RV places. So we're like, we'll just stay here tonight and hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to get our tire replaced very quickly and we can maybe do some motorcycle rides while we're staying here and while we're waiting for our tire to be replaced. I definitely want to ride my bike. Here in Flagstaff area and we're just waiting for this dude to dump out his crap and then we'll <laughs> go <laughs> his crap wait wait wait! Water. is he dumping crap yeah, yeah his crap like literally <laughs> yes <laughs> so we're about to go for a ride but uh the rv's getting fixed right now we're all loaded up we're starting Whoa. in flagstaff heading south on i think it's 89a towards sedona should be fun it's a super beautiful ride. As you're leaving Flagstaff, you're at pretty high elevation, so you're like pine top. In the winter, it snows there. Mm -hmm. And then as you come down into the canyon, it's this beautiful canyon of red rock and high desert trees. Um, and then as you get closer to Sedona, you start to notice that there's like some rivers and people hanging out, and we have some beautiful bridges and stuff like that. Yeah, we actually passed the um, Slide Rock State Park, so there was a lot of heavy traffic there. And just all along the route, there's lots of cars, motorcycles, cyclists, hikers, and I had a few pedestrians try to run out right in front of me on the road. I had to stop for them, but the roads are really nice. Um, they do construction there regularly, so we had to stop for a couple of roadblocks for that, but they, they do the upkeep really well on them, considering how high traffic it is. Okay, we made it to Sedona. It's really pretty here. We're gonna be heading out soon, but I wanted just to kind of show you how beautiful it is. The Red Mountain, we're basically in a canyon the whole time. And we're gonna head back up to Flagstaff. Our RV's tires are fixed. Hopefully we'll make it to Utah tonight and then um, we'll do some rides in Southern Utah. So if you ride through Sedona, you have to keep in mind that it's very busy. If you're gonna stay in Sedona, you need to look in advance for places to stay because there's a good chance that it's gonna be booked up. Can be kind of expensive. Um, it's an amazing place. If, if you've never been, to a place with the red rocks like this. It's just gorgeous, you need to check it out. It's a really tight canyon, which mm -hmm. I really liked. It's really technical riding. Lots of curves and turns. Uh, Burton and I had a really good time. Yep. So obviously Adam is a more experienced rider than I am, so he likes those tight hairpin turns and everything, but it was a little bit more difficult for me. I've been riding for three years and it was only the second day that I'd ever ridden with a passenger. I had my seven-year-old daughter on the back with me. So I was a little bit more nervous. I just took all the turns at the suggested speeds and went really slow, which did cause some traffic behind me. So I had to pull over a few times and let them pass. 
Um, once we got into Sedona, we had some lunch. Mm -hmm. Had a wonderful little stay at the barbecue place there. Outlaw Grill. And then we headed right back up to Flagstaff, the yep. same route we came on 89A. Mm -hmm. We got back to the RV and the tire was finished and we were ready to move on towards Moab. Yes.